Here we go. They're away and they're racing for the Juice and Novices Handicap Chase. First race on day three of the festival. One of the greys, Castari, on the right, disputing the running with Demi Bow in the center of the black jacket. Wide on the left in the black with the yellow cap is Preacher Boy as they landed safely over fence number one. Turpin Green is not too far away. Uh, also up there is Garchomp head towards the outside with uh, Laval Phony. On the right is Idol first in the black sleeves. The grey, uh, Reveille, is uh, close up in the white cap moves into about fifth place now the favorite as they go towards the next demi bow from castari and preacher boy idol first then on the far side of Reveille, followed by turpin green who is wide on the course of tumbling dice and no full they're followed by whispered secret and laval phony with towards the rear then garchon pet and copsail lad uh, back on the inside and a noseband towards the back there is direct flight with stance celtic sun sits towards the rear also in the rear division is chilling place as they swing right-handed they seem to be going a rare old gallop and they head down towards the next uh, fence and they're stretched out about 20 lengths uh, between first and last the first over was Demi Bo they're all safely over Demi Bo from uh, in second place Castari as now they gallop on towards the next preacher boy is third the leader went through the top of that Reveille is close up uh, in the leading quartet followed by tumbling dice Behind those, Idol first on the inside, Turpin Green in the white sleeves is handy. And then No Full on the far side of Whispered Secret, Copsail Lad, La Volfoni and Garchon Pet. Cornish set further back with All Alois, followed by Chilling Place, Direct Flight, Stance and Celtic Sun still at the rear. Racing towards the next with a circuit left to cover in the opener. Demi Bow clears it well from Castari. Reveo over in third place from Preacher Boy. They're followed then by Tumbling Dice and Turpin Green. Uh, racing together then, uh, Idol first, Laval Phony. Garchon Pet wide of Cornish set and Copsail Lad. The crowd roar them on. No full up the inside, Chilling Place wide of All Alois. Whispered Secret, two lengths, direct flight, Celtic Sun and Stance. Racing left-handed then into the back straight. And no let up in the pace from the front here with Devi Bow and Castari setting the target as they race downhill to the next plane fence. Demi Bow skips over it from Castari. Reveille is about six lengths back in third, followed by Preacher Boy, and then Tumbling Dice and Copsail Lad, followed next by Turpin Green, Lavolfoni, and Idol first as they clear the water jump, the second of the obstacles in the back straight. Stance was very slow at the back, and now here comes an open ditch. On the left, Demi Bow. On the right is Castari as they clear it. Reveille fiddled over in third place. Turpin Green just given a nudge of the reins back in fourth place. In the cheek pieces, Tumbling Dice as they jump this next plane fence. Demi Bow went through the top of that, seeing the others over it. Cornish set is making a bit of headway. Stance is detached as they run left-handed up the hill towards this next open ditch a, a real jumping test one of the toughest fences on the course coming to it Demi Bow and Castari Reveille over in third place Tumbling Dice and Cocktail out and Turpin Green and then Laval Phony followed by All Loire in the light blue jacket then direct flight and Cornish set followed back in the field then uh, uh, by uh, No Full as they cleared the next Reveille is closing up in third place over that one as they now approach a slight left-hand turn and running towards four out. It's Demi Bo and Castari. Can these two keep up this gallop? The Reveille is looking dangerous in the hands of Tony McCoy in the white cap in third place. Then behind these, Le Volfoni and Copsail Lad in the cheap pieces, tumbling dice with a chance. Direct flight is next. Preacher Boy was a faller at the back as they run downhill towards the third last. Demi Bo, Castari, and on the right is Reveille. They're followed closely then by tumbling dice in the cheap piece. On the left is Le Volfoni is down there, Le Volfoni, when coming to challenge and racing now for the final turn. And Reveille has come cruising up on the rail. Tumbling dice is going with him. Demi Bow is headed now back in third. Then Copsail Lad running on in the green cap, followed by direct flight as they swing for home. Two fences left to jump. The champion jockey in front, Tony McCoy on Reveille, who's chased hard by Copsail Lad. Tumbling dice, direct flight on the outside in the noseband. Then Castari, they're clear of Turpin Green. Demi Bow was a faller, racing for the final fence. Reveille is in front, two and a half lengths clear, jumps it well. Reveille, Copsail Lad now trying to close up the hill. Followed by Tumbling Dice on direct flight. Reveille is now being caught by Copsail out on the far side. McCoy asked for more on 
on Reve, and the horse provides a winning response, and Reve wins. Woken up on the run-in to beat Copsail Lad. There, clear then, it was close between direct flight and tumbling dice for third. Turpin Green next from Cornish set, and Orla Loire, followed back by Castari, then Whispered Secret and No Fall. Uh, Idol first and chilling place. Gar Champette, Celtic Sun never showed at all. Another disappointment for the Martin Pipe team. Good start for the punters here. Reveille has landed the spoils in the colours, the familiar colours of J.P. McManus. James Fanshawe, the trainer, better known, of course, for winners on the flat, but he's had some success over jumps in the past with the likes of Orla Loire and Royal Gate, of course, in the champion hurdle. Tony McCoy, all smiles here, having ridden his second winner at the meeting, Brave Inca in the champion hurdle on the first day. And now Reveille wins the Juice and Novices handicap checks. Nine to two favourite. That's the return price of Ravalli, who was nine to two and four to one, seven to two this morning. Touched six to one on the course, and I can tell you one thing: whatever Freddie Williams, the big boards bookmaker in the front row, won yesterday, he will have done there. One hundred thousand pound bet at six to one. He laid. He loses six hundred thousand pounds in a single.